Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and as promised, we will now have another free video tutorial about golf course lighting design. And tonight, we will discuss about how to create a contour for a golf course. Okay, so before we start, I would like to show you some pictures that in the golf course, it is not so typical contour or a flat land similar to football field or basketball court or um what else what other sports cricket or baseball or any racing sports of uh, sports field so golf course is so different because it has different contours or uh, ground level and uh, doing a calculation with a different contour is very important to recognize the levels of these contours because it affects the lighting calculation uniformity and uh, the lux level for uh, the lighting design requirements so tonight i'm going to teach you on how to create your contour for a golf course lighting so I'm going to show you this one. This is one of our project. This is the driving range. And you can see that it looks so flat, but in, but in actual, you can see those little uh, contour lines. The elevation of these lines is like 0.5 meters or half a meters high for each contour line. And then if you go to the drawing, I will show you the CAD file. So this is a sample golf course that we have. So if you go to the CAD file, um, as a lighting designer, you must ask this uh, contour layout from the uh, geodetic engineer or from the uh, surveyor to get the right contour. You can check these contours if you go to the view and then go to the uh, front and you can see that there are s different elevations on this uh, soil properties so every line this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 height or 50 50 centi so you 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 will recognize how important it is to consider the contour line in your lighting design because what uh, for example your pole is located below the contour or or the ground line then you need to check uh, the proper location of your pole as you can see it has um, okay you cannot see it here in this 3d so but yeah you can see that this is the contour lines as you can see for example this one so for every sp spline or um, what they call this um, lines curve lines is contour level so you can see this circular one this is the highest part of the soil or the ground and this is the lowest and then the lowest and if you go to the number for example this is 25.5 and if you go to the yellow it's point 20 it's 25 and it's 24.5 up to the level that it becomes lower so it's really important to get the contour because for example your pole is here then it means you have three meters high above the ground some of our competitor in this project uh, run a calculation with a, with a flat ground as if it is like a football field so it's wrong wrong it's a no no it's 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 it, in my opinion it's not correct that's why the landscape architect or the consultant for this project approved our design because our design is more detailed and more realistic than the lighting calculation of our competitor so for example you can see here this one see the contour you can see here this pole is on the higher ground compared to this one so you can imagine how high this one and differs and if you can see that once your pole is higher then uh, you will get a better uniformity but sometimes it will give give you a lower lux level so it's it's really need to be considered another example of a golf course picture is you can, you can see here so you can see this one is a little higher or that one or that one compared to maybe this one or this one so it's really important to get the contour in your golf course lighting design 
Alright, so um, what I'm going to teach you is how to create your contour. So either of the two ways is by uh, creating it in SketchUp. So I use this one in SketchUp. So what I did is I imported the CAD file and then I created those contours using the SketchUp. So you can see here this one is so high. I think this one is 1 meter. And those every gradient is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meters. This is a driving range and you can see that of all the poles are in the higher ground compared to um, to this uh, fairway, fairways. So for example, your pole is 20 meters high, so it will be added like 3 meters more or 4 meters more high. So it will give you more uniformity and lax level. So it's really need to consider uh, the contour ground. Another thing is you can do it in Dilux, Evo. Actually what I did is I created this um, contour in SketchUp and then I imported it again to Dilux Evo. But you can also create your contour using Dilux, sorry it's not Dilux Evo, it's Dilux Regular. You can also create your contour using Dilux Regular only. The problem is you cannot create this color where you will put your um, calculation points because for example your calculation points is different here compared to this fairware only because the patting green has uh, it requires higher lux levels you need to create a different calculation points uh, the denser the better like uh, one meter by one meter spacing of lighting calculation points and in the fairware you can have um, five meters by five meters calculation points so you can see it here i have the other page here you can see that my calculation points to the um, fairway compa compared to the patting green is so different yeah you can see that my poles are in the higher ground so you cannot just create um, for example a 20 meter high pole and make everything imagine as flat so your calculation is wrong that's why it is really really important to uh, know the contour of your um, golf course and yeah so in my next uh, in, in, in my webinar on Saturday I will uh, tell you or I will teach you on how to do it because it will take time and so that's it and I hope you join me on Saturday for this um, free webinar about golf course lighting design Okay, good night.